Let's go right to the uh, phone calls. First up is Jim in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, CHRB. Hi, Jim. Hello, Hank. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Um, the question I have is simply this. The average um, ISIL person, are they actually doing what the Koran says for them to do? Well, you know, I, I think they certainly believe that because they will take passages uh, such as uh, a passage that is found in Surah 5, and they will use that passage as the basis for justifying atrocities. Because for many of them, the whole idea of separation between mosque and state is reprehensible. Uh, Islam is to engulf the entirety of one's life and being, and therefore the teachings of Muhammad in the Quran are, are crucial to, uh, to follow. And, and, and of course, some of those teachings have been well publicized, such as uh, the punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his apostle and strive to make mischief in the land is only this, that they should be murdered or crucified or their hands and their feet should be cut off on opposite sides, or they should be imprisoned. Now, there are people that will say, look, there are passages in the Quran that are abrogated. There are also passages that would teach a different ethic. And that's exactly the problem that I was pointing out at the beginning of this broadcast. The Quran is wholly human in origin, and therefore it is subject to be contradictory within itself. It's self-stultifying. Very different than the Bible, which is definitively divine as opposed to merely human in origin. I, uh, I concur absolutely. The thing that I do not understand, and I have spoken to many Muslim people, is that um, the American government does not seem to understand that ISIL uh, under the Koran's direction or tutelage or influence is, is totally, totally encouraging people to be terrorists, to be uh, really outside what we as, as saved born again Christians would consider to be a compassionate look or, or thought towards humanity. And, and these people actually seem to be living out what they believe. Well, yes, and, and many, of, uh, many of the people that you note are uh, believing that these people are today's freedom fighters because of the decadence of the American way of life, because of sexual immorality. Uh, we, we have this, this kind of justice coming to us. Uh, we have been decadent. Uh, we have colonialized the world. There's this viewpoint, this lens through which people see the atrocities, not as atrocities, therefore, but uh, rather as divine sanction against uh, an apostate West.